In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit polymorphs in Frosty Editor for PVZ GW2. First, go to the Gameplay folder, scroll down, single click on Kits, right click on any asset in there, and select Duplicate. Now rename the asset. I'm going to call mine Polymorph to Superhero. Click Next, then check the box that says Change Type, find Buff Data, select it, and hit Save. Open up your new asset. Now, go down to the Weapons folder, open Rows, and single click on Goat, then open Goat Bullet, open the object, open the components, open Item 0, which is the Buff Applicator component data, and then open the buff inside of it. So the next thing you've got to do is copy all the information from this file and paste it to the one you just created. Once you are done with that, open the buff effects, and open item 0, which is the polymorph buff effect data. Find the goat soldier file in the data explorer. Select the soldier file you want your new polymorph to have, and assign it there. Do the same with the template. After you've done that, single click on your new file, go back to Goat Bullet, and assign it to the buff. There's just one more thing we need to do now. Scroll down to the Kits folder, open it, single click Bundling, then open the Character Shared Bundled Asset. It will take some time for this file to open, so be patient. When it finishes opening, add a new item to the objects, then open the objects, and scroll all the way down. Single click your new file again, and assign it there. Select buff data, and you're done. But wait, we have to save our project? I'll call it Superhero Polymorph. This project will take longer to save because I edited a network registry asset. Finally, we can launch our game to see if our new Polymorph buff works. Let's test it on that newspaper zombie up there. And it worked! They are now superheroes. Thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you have a lot of fun playing around with polymorphs. Peace out.